Hello YouTube, I am at V Productions and welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, today we're going to be working with the Surface Pro. And also as you can see, I'm growing a little stash here. I look like someone who might walk into a convenience store and walk out with a few items they didn't pay for. But what's actually going on here today is we're going to make Minecraft shaders run on the Surface Pro 6. It actually runs Minecraft okay, but uh, shaders do not run okay because it doesn't have a real graphics card. It's got Intel HD Graphics 620. And I suspect you guys are watching this video because you have a similar problem. You either don't have like an actual graphics card to run shaders or your graphics card's too old. Or just shaders aren't running well on your computer. It's, you know, it's too slow, too old. It's a laptop, whatever it may be. This is a laptop, and, and in fact, it's less than a laptop. It's just a two-in-one. It, it, it's a tablet, too. And we're going to make shaders run on these, and if honestly, if we can do it on this, you can do it at home. We're, this is going to be extremely in-depth. We're going to get really into the settings here to make everything run right. So without further ado, I'm going to stop blabbing away and just get right into it. All right, so let's start at the physical level. If you have a laptop, you're going to want to plug the laptop. Oh, Bones, what are you doing on my Surface Pro? Not for you, sir. Anyways, yeah, if you have a laptop, you're going to want to make sure that you plug it in and make sure it's charging. Because the more power that we actually get to this thing, the faster it's going to run. And if it is a laptop with a battery that's charging, you're going to want to click this little battery icon and make sure that you go to best performance. Obviously, so you have the best performance and it uses the most of the CPU and GPU as possible. All right, so now we're going to get into the computer side of things. All right, so once we're on the little Windows thing right here, you're going to want to go to your Minecraft launcher. Just double click it like this. Here is Minecraft. And if you're wondering why I'm not recording this with like screen capture or something, we're trying to get the best performance possible. No screen capture at all here. You're going to want to go up to installations and uh, make sure that you have the version of Minecraft you want to install shaders on. We're just going to do 1.14. You're going to want to make sure you run 1.14 at least once or whatever version. So here we are. We ran the version as you can see. Now we can just close right out of it. Next thing we need to do is download Optifine. Go to Optifine. Just type it in. Now what Optifine is is a Minecraft mod that will make your Minecraft run significantly faster and also uh, enables shaders to be installed. We'll just go to Optifine Downloads right here. As you can see, uh, Optifine 1.14.4 uh, HDF3. We'll just download it right here. It's going to take us to AdFly. Um, don't click any install or any junk that you see in here. Oh, I have an ad blocker on. So don't run your ad blocker through here and just wait this uh, out. As you can see up here, it says, please wait with seconds count down skip ad and as you can see we're at the Optifine downloads just click it to download it it says it might harm your computer or whatever don't worry it's not a virus it's just Optifine as you can see it's finished downloading so once it's done downloading you're gonna want to go to your downloads as you can see here is Optifine I just dragged it to my desktop you're gonna want to double click the Optifine click the install button and it says Optifine is installed so now if we go back to our Minecraft launcher as you can see latest released Optifine is already installed installed and ready for us but we can just click that and go back to 1.14 if we really wanted to but we don't play yet go up to installations go to optifine here click these little bars and click edit as you can see if you go down to more options you can see this thing called jvm arguments which is uh, how much ram is allocated to minecraft so right where it says xmx 2g i'm going to change that to xmx 6 gigabytes because I have eight gigabytes of RAM on this machine and we'll click save and it all depends on how much RAM is on your machine I have a whole video on how to allocate a uh, Minecraft RAM so click the link in the description if you want to watch that go back to play as you can see Optifine still here we're just gonna click play we're gonna now run the Optifine version of Minecraft so now as you can see Minecraft is booted up we'll just get it full screen here you can go to options video settings and we have tons more options now with Optifine here we'll turn the volume down now, once Minecraft is loaded in, we're going to want to do Control alt delete As you can see, it brings up this menu. We're going to want to click Task Manager, and let's see what's running in the background. As you can see, Minecraft is using a ton of memory, but uh, there's no other tasks running here other than Minecraft, which is good, except for Task Manager, of course. Now, you don't want anything else running here like Chrome or something like that, because that will eat up your CPU and GPU usage and make Minecraft run slower. So we want to have as little running here as possible. And we do have that, so that's good. Now we're going to pick out some shaders to install. So we'll just open up Chrome, just Minecraft 
shaders. We'll go with some lower end shaders, which is very important. You make sure you download ones that will run well. Silder shaders are actually pretty good. We'll go down. We'll download Silder's vibrant shaders. We'll download the medium one. We're not even going with a light version here. I think we can do the medium. Again, wait the five seconds here on add a fly. Press skip add. Now we'll take us to the Silder's vibrant shaders download. So we're just going to click download right here. As you can see, it downloaded a zip file. Leave this open with the zip file down here in the downloads on Chrome. Go to options, video settings, shaders, shaders folder. It will open up your shaders folder. Go to Chrome and just drag the zip file into your shaders folder. And now you've installed the shaders. So we can close both of those windows. We'll just click them to load them in. As you can see, they're loaded up. We have shaders installed. Let's see how they run right now and then we'll, we'll dial it in and make them run perfect. Uh oh. Don't crash on me. Oh, here they are, okay. Uh, yeah, not really running too well at all. They are running though without any errors, which is nice. So here we are in Minecraft with some very, very laggy shaders, but they're, they're running. Uh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's get these to run nice and well. So go to your options in Minecraft. First thing we can do is lower the FOV a tiny bit, you know, obviously you still want it playable, but I take it all the way down sometimes to like 65, something like that. Go to video settings, cap your frame rate to uh, something playable. I'm just gonna cap it to 30 FPS. Maybe we can try 60 later. Go to smooth lighting, just turn it to off because we don't need it. We're running shaders here. Go to details, clouds we want on fast. We're just off honestly because I'm pretty sure there's clouds with the shaders. Tree we want to run on fast fog we just want to turn completely off because I don't think shaders use it anyways alternate blocks off click done here go to animations honestly we can just turn all of these off for the best performance that's what I'm going to do click done go to quality mint map honestly I, I leave it on maximum I think they help performance custom entity models we don't need custom fonts we don't need connected textures we don't need random entities. We can turn that off. Now we're gonna go to other. You actually wanna run it in full screen mode, believe it or not. So we'll click full screen. As you see now we're in full screen mode, but we actually want to run it in a lower full screen mode. So a lower resolution than we actually have. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it to something like this. Seems like it'll work pretty well. Auto save we want to set to 30 minutes, or it doesn't let me do it actually, so we'll go to 24 minutes. There we go, we'll click done. Go to performance, fast render is not compatible with shaders. Smooth FPS we want on, fast math we want on, dynamic updates we want on, lazy chunk loading on, chunk updates we want on the lowest level so we have it set to one, smart animations on, and that should be good. Now let's see if we've improved our frame rates at all. All right, we're still getting uh, pretty jagged frame rates. Seems to be running a little bit better. The game does look a little bit worse. We'll go back to options. Now we're gonna go into the actual shader options here and change some stuff around. We don't need bloom. Up the field we can have completely off. Reflections we don't need. Fraction we don't need. Ice and glass reflections we don't need. Waving objects, you know, you can turn all this off if you don't want it. It all comes down to preference at this point, just really trying to dial it in with the stuff that you want. Lens flares and stuff that you can turn off. Shadows is a huge one. Very low, we'll have it set to. Grass shadows we can have off. So now we're actually getting to some playable frame rates here with shaders. So as you can see, we have shaders on and it seems to be pretty playable right now. I'm gonna try to up the frame rate here. Just set it to unlimited. So we're getting our max frame rate. Seems to be running all right. Well, this is definitely a playable frame rate. I would consider this successful. It is not easy uh, to get them to run here on the Surface tablet, but we did it and they work. At a, at a staggering 12 chunks, nonetheless, we can actually make it run a lot better just by going in and turning this down to something like eight chunks, which used to be medium. So we'll, ha we'll set it to that and that's just so much better. So yeah, there you go. Minecraft is now playable with shaders on the Surface tablet. You know, they don't look as good as big PC shaders, but what can you do? We went from unplayable to playable. You know, obviously it's still a little laggy, but I think we did a pretty okay job. We got shadows and stuff and you know, it doesn't look too bad. Hello, piggy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm Matthew Productions. If this helped you guys out, please leave it a like, and I will be seeing you guys next time. Goodbye.